Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play LSD. I'm your host, CPC Gamer, and... Well, it's been a while, hasn't it? I don't even remember what happened the last episode. Aside from nothing, according to the Dream Chart, which is clearly the most exciting launch pad that gives me plenty of fun things to talk about in this episode. Hmm. Although, just like that, I'm back home. I love the soundtrack in this game. Sometimes, anyways. There are parts of it that send chills down my spine, like, you know, the heartbeat one from the violence district. Oh hey! Yeah, I remember what I was doing the last time I was here. I looked up at the ceiling so I could poke fun at how the game was sort of building the level around me. Then I saw a dragon or something outside. And is that gonna happen today? Very probably not. I mean, not that it makes any difference if it did, because it's... Not like I can reach it or interact with it or anything. And I guess I'm at the roof, so... Unless Trogdor spawned without me knowing about it, I'm not gonna see him today. Unless there's a surprise running from the corner! No. Okay. Unless there's a surprise running from the other corner! Huh? Also, no. Okay, I'm gonna link with this pillar here. Which apparently is made out of several smaller pillars stacked on top of one another. Is that economical? It seems like a pretty inefficient way of programming the game, if I'm honest. Huh. You know, some strange reason I thought I was in the kitchen right there. Am I even on the right floor for that? No, I'm not. I'm... doing good. Oh, I do remember the last time I came to see the dying woman, she looked like hell warmed up, so... Well, she's not there, so I, I can't really see if that's kept up. Who knows? <laughs> and I'm forced to wonder if that link is... No, scratch that thought. How big is this room? How far back do these cubes go? Approximately that far. Brilliant. And now you know. Right, where was I? Um... Yes. I wonder if that link is somehow unique to this playthrough, or, like, if any other copy of LSD does that. Because every site I've looked at has listed various Easter eggs. Also, here is some text. I'm gonna sit here quietly because I can't read this one. Alright, back to that old sentence I started just now. I have seen lists of easter eggs for this game. Some of the eggs I've shown, some of them I've tried and failed. But not a single one of them has listed the direct and permanent link between the bedroom and the grey room. Which is weird, because you'd think they'd be all over that kind of thing in this game. Like me! I like how I've not done this for a couple, two or three months, and I am right back into my old groove of not making any degree of coherence sense. I also like how I'm back in the groove of trying to summon the man in the room. I want to see if his model's sticking out the back of the building. Like, can you go downstairs and still see him outside because of the sterling programming this game displays? Or maybe he's on this floor? I don't know. <laughs> like I say, it has been a while. Well, I mean, he's not in this room, clearly, because that is a book. That's a very eager book. It sends me to a horribly dissonant... Kyoto, apparently. Dig in the neon green fog, though. I wonder if it's representative of something. I suppose it depends on who you're talking to, really. Which... is one of the problems of, like, color meaning and aura reading. If something is made up on the fly, you can't really tie it down to meaning anything. But if you speak in a breathy and spiritual voice, it sure sounds awesome. What is making that swishing noise? Is that you? Man, you don't have a proper neck, and that is creepy to me. Why can't this early 90s experimental indie video game be perfectly modeled? Graphics are everything! Okay, where am I? My bedroom, obviously, but I meant in-game. Alright, two choices, and I bet we're gonna invoke the 50-50-90 rule. 
Well, maybe not, because I see somebody down there, so let's go. And I really hope I don't have to explain the 50-50-90 rule. Weren't there smaller versions of you last time? I am making all of the sense today. Ugh, I don't care. It is entirely too hot today. That's why I'm doing this. It's, it's our summer. It's my least favorite week of the year. And so I'm just lounging around, not doing much, and watching somebody else charge around low-poly Japan. And wondering why Fatal Frame dolls are. Seriously. Am I back outside? I've no idea where I am in this tunnel. Or what that terrifying rumbling sound is. Oh, wait, no, I know where I am. I'm smart. Hey, Peacock, do you do anything? No, I guess you don't. Okay. It's one of the problems with this game being so heavily steeped in Japanese culture. I have no idea what most of this stuff is or represents or how you're meant to, you know, interact with it. It's like... The Game Over Dream features the... Now, let's see if I have this right. Mount Fuji, a hawk, and an aubergine, because that's the best dream you can have in the new year, and it predicts great luck and fortune and stuff. I don't know why, except because Japan. I think it's because those are the favorite things of the first samurai, but I'm honestly not going to go on record as having said that, because that would be the purest of speculations. Apparently, that is something that I care about doing now. Oh, not snagging on that corner, my good sir. Let's push on. First stop, off this ice. Brilliant. Wait a second, is that writing? I know I found some writing in some of the earlier videos. I forget if I found this one. I don't think I did, because the only ones I remember are Happy and LSD. So this one is S, K, and that last one is a Y. So how about that? It says Sky. Love it when games do that. It's like in... Secret of Mana, I think it is. There's a couple of faces that can only be seen when you're flying. There's also this one island that when you fly over it with the dragon, you can see that it's built on the back of a giant turtle. And it's pretty great because otherwise you just don't... Whoa! <laughs> hey, hi, how's it going? I probably shouldn't walk on the train tracks. Probably gonna go to the violence district because of this. Or Kyoto. Kyoto works too. Especially if it's this, you know, brightly colored, glorious wonder Kyoto. Oh, hey, since I'm near the door, I'm... Gonna go try that thing I talked about in the last episode. Or, you know, I'm gonna wake up. Whatever. I don't want to explore Kyoto anyways. Oh, 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 bingo! Yes, I totally meant to do that. All right, let's see, let's see what's going on. What do you got for me, game? Oh. I've seen this one already. In fact, I did a bit of experimenting with this one. Like, obviously the colors have been inverted, but if you were to invert the video, then the colors are still incorrect. Like, all the people are green and such. So, I have to wonder why they went to such pains to edit a video that no one was gonna be able to reasonably edit anyway. Oh! Yeah, no, that's fine. I didn't need my left ear anyway. Is this a VHS player? It looks like either a VHS player or one of those old computers where all the data was stored on giant spools of magnetic tape. The kind of computer I always associate with stuff like the Avengers or the Saint. And I should probably point out that I mean the British TV show The Avengers and not the comic book guys. I don't know why our guys were called the Avengers. I mean, they were... They were mostly just spies. 
Ah. Yes, I think that's a close of a VHS player if it's showing a dead TV after the little thing ran out. That or this is Poltergeist in Japan. Oh, come on now. We've seen this one already in episode two? One of the early ones. I don't remember when exactly. I just remember I tried to show off by counting in Swahili and I got it wrong because it sounded like I was just going blah, 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 halfway through. Not so good at counting in Swahili, surprisingly. But I can't say Thursday. Very particular skill I picked up for stopping people bragging. You know? You just go, oh, I can say Thursday in Swahili. They, There's no comeback to that. Oh, oh, I wonder if this is going to tie into a theory I have about a thing. Is that Tokyo Tower? Looking at it, I really want to say that that's Tokyo Tower. Okay, yeah, that that's Tokyo Tower. I have to say, I like how Japan built its own version of the Eiffel Tower, except theirs is compact and efficient and it actually does something. And if I sound like I'm wise and knowledgeable, I would like to apologize. I, I'm i not. I've just seen way too many Godzilla movies, like kaiju movies and all that. And now I feel bad for dropping Japanese into the middle of English, which is weird because the English has never shied away from stealing other languages' words. Plus the Japanese drop into English to show off. It's one of those weird, there's no international equivalent things. It's a shame there's no international equivalent, at least some very confusing moments. Hey! Sexy fish bowl! Or goldfish! Whatever! <sighs> yeah, Gangnam Style was a thing about a year ago. Why am I still making jokes about it? Seriously. <laughs> I have no idea what that sketch was about, it just... It reminds me of one of those David Lynch series, Rabbits. If you've ever seen it, it it's just a massive head trip, and it makes no sense. Just like David Lynch, who I'm pretty sure he's a nice enough guy and all, he's just... He raised a head gave me nightmares, okay? That is not cool. Speaking of Eraser Head, this is kind of giving me flashbacks to that. Thank goodness it's gone away. Oh, this is new! Okay, so... Right. I'm one of those gigantic nerds who wants to visit Japan and live there or whatever. And it is because of things like this. Now, maybe it's because I've just seen Japan filtered through TV and the animes. But there's just culture. Just lying about the place. You know, they've got festivals and parades and ceremonies and everyone joins in and has a badass time. Now, compare this to England, where we have Morris dancers. I mean, for a long time, there was a, a local parade here, but they cancelled it when they realised it was turning into one church, just taking over the whole thing, and just sucker punching people into attending sermons. Which... Nah, that's not particularly cool. And if the game has any sense of humour, this will be the last video in the slideshow. Which it isn't. Of course it isn't. But it did have the common courtesy to drop us into that one Beatles album cover. I forget which one. I think it was just called The Beatles? Whoa, this... This is kind of creepy. I was going to say, you remember that one video with the boy eating sausages? He has a look on his face like he doesn't know what's going on, but he knows he shouldn't be filmed doing it. This is kind of the opposite of that. I feel like I shouldn't be watching this. I'll watch this, though. This is, this is peaceful. And not at all helping my sudden desire to go to Japan and stay there forever. Damn you, virtual tourism! Although, with that said, I have to wonder what this is. Like, is it people visiting a grave or a, a, a temple in memoriam or something? Because... That is pretty depressing, if that's what it is. Aww. Whatever it was, this one goes along with it perfectly. 
like, this guy did whatever he had to do during the day. And now it's the afternoon, and he's heading home. I like the long, slow fades, too. See you around, old man. That's nice. I shouldn't use nice as an adjective, but that is precisely what that is. Oh, hey, it's these guys. These are my favorite characters. Not much of an achievement, because the other characters in the game are like gray coat. And I am trying so hard not to make that joke about two fish in a tank, but the longer this goes on, the harder that gets. And that fish is giving me the evil eye for just thinking about bringing it up. Sorry, fish. Yeah, I'm surprised I'm not stoned either. It is just way too hot outside. What's this now, a gondola? Urban gondola rides down the storm drains like that one terrible level from Blur. Which is literally any level from Blur because they are all terrible. Witty and topical. What am I even looking at right about now? Oh, hey, policeman. A friend of mine recently went on a school trip to Japan for a while, and she posted no end of pictures of policemen, mainly because she likes their cute little uniforms. She thinks that the uniforms are cute. I'm, I'm not too keen. I'm more a fan of the ready access to handcuffs. And I have to say, if I didn't know any better, I would have said that was distinctly European-looking artwork and sculptures. Which is stark contrast, because this is a really distinctly Japanese-looking thing. It's a delicious-looking meal. Possibly except for the turtle. Not too keen on chopsticks, though. We went to Tokyo Express this one time. I learned how to use chopsticks. So proud of myself being able to slowly pick up the big chunks of chicken or rice balls or whatever. And then my friend shows me up by picking up single grains of rice like it's no big deal. But it's alright because it was my Rise and I love her with all of my heart. Is it me or is this music entirely too calm for the violence district? Seriously, this is nice and peaceful and it's not Relevant anymore. <laughs> Seriously, another one? How long is this montage gonna go on for? And if you just ruined every single video based dream in this game, LSD, because that would not be cool. I need to stretch this thing out as long as I can just for the hits. Not that I have any particular idea what's going on right about now, but. Yeah, no. <laughs> This is another instance where I feel I shouldn't be watching. Or that at any moment they're just gonna look up at the camera and I'll have nowhere to run because the game's just wacky like that. Seriously, what is this? Is, is that it? Another one? I'm running out of funny wrists for these things. Gotta be honest. Closest one I can think of here is... Some sort of Pokemon, don't go into the tall grass joke, something like that. It's peaceful though. Whatever this is, I, I will give it credit for being peaceful. Anything else? No? Please no- Ugh. You remember when I said this should end with that transmission end video? Oh, it's done. Alright then. Join us next time for more of this. And until next time, goodbye.